and I'm gladly voting for Gary Johnson, the former New Mexico governor, the libertarian candidate. I'm proud to say I'm voting for him. I want him to be president. And you're talking to the true independent here. I didn't have a dog in the fight. I ended up voting for uh, Dr. Stein. I know it well. When I ran for governor of Minnesota in a debate, they asked me a question. I shrugged. I said, I don't know. The crowd applauded. They finally got someone honest who wouldn't pretend to know everything. And I said, but if it's important, I'll learn about it. And so you're still planning on voting for him? Absolutely. You think that's going to stop me from voting for him? The reason I voted for Dr. Stein, I'll tell you why. I went with the Green Party. And I'm gladly voting for Gary Johnson, the former New Mexico governor, the libertarian candidate. I ended up voting for uh, Dr. Stein. I'm proud to say I'm voting for him. I want him to be president. Keep smiling, shithead. I, I, I want Bernie because I, I normally am not a one-issue voter where I don't pick a candidate because right. of one issue. But this presidential, it's going to be. And the issue is getting us out of these wars. And right now, there's only two candidates on the whole horizon. That's Bernie Sanders and Rand Paul who have said they will get us out of the Middle Eastern wars. And that's the person that I'm going to support. And I'm gladly voting for Gary Johnson. I ended up voting for uh, Dr. Stein. I live in Mexico for five months a year and have for the last eight years in a row. Really, when I live there seven months, that's a vacation? I live in Mexico for five months a year. When I live there seven months, that's a vacation? For five months or seven months or five months or seven months? I thought it was five months. Now it's seven months. Fatality. Why don't we have a team called, you know, the, uh, the, the Birmingham Blackskins and we can depict them with, say, buckwheat or something like that. Would that be okay? Or maybe we got the San Jose Yellowskins and we depict them as a Chinaman. I, maybe we could call the black team the slaves. You know, after all, you know, they were, and, and you know, maybe some of them, you always hear the stories that many of them didn't want to be free. They preferred being slaves, right? I thought you were this big, tough, macho guy. You argue like a woman. All your points are this anecdotal evidence of this happened to me, and I saw this. And well, I, I, if I were offered, number one, to go to a drinking party or to go to a pot party, I would choose the pot party for three reasons. The chances of violence will be slim and none. At the drinking party, about 50-50. Well, that's a very entertaining story, but unfortunately, real detectives have to worry about that little thing called evidence. Good I, I saw one wearing a, a, a jacket that said, I'm a Cherokee, not a redskin. I'm a Cherokee. Well, all I know is that when I, when I marched with them in Minnesota, it was 90% Native American, 10% white. I, I sat with, a, with dozens of them here in Minnesota because Minnesota, we have a very high Native American population. I sat with dozens of them who told me, yes, indeed, absolutely were offended. I have a gun safe at home, and I've never come home and heard those guns going off on their own. Well, I care about it. I am a sports fan. But parenting My kids isn't went the all only the way solution. through it, and I parented. Well, but well, Jesse, you're a great... not ever... because, because I was in the Philippines physically the day Ferdinand Marcos declared martial law and made himself a dictator. And the first thing that dictator did, he gave the people of the Philippines two weeks to turn in all their guns. Well, let me give it to you this way. When I protested with the Native Americans last fall when Washington came to play the Vikings here, a young Native American kid brought to me a... Oh my God, who the hell cares? I've only raised my own children. I know nothing about it. Just I've talked to them. Because I used to do the NFL. Because I've seen the temperature gauge on my car. I have a conceal and carry license. When I go into Mexico, I am liberal. I find it extremely offensive, and but I'm fiscally conservative. So I, I cross the border. border. I do it every year. I had I, I and I I I I I I I I had I and I I I um have you forgotten that we're all immigrants? Oh god. You know, what are you uh, my grandmother?